Matt Frazier on a mission to reconnect friends and family with the spirits of those who are no longer with us. However, right now he's doing this through group meetings on Zoom like the rest of us because of the pandemic. See how this is? I want everyone to just listen to the story for a minute. Do you see how the way that spirit puts the pieces together? You're going to know, James, I don't know your life. I don't Google this before I come on here and I, that I talk to you. And this is not on Google, correct? Correct. <laughs> so there's no way that I would ever know something like this. I know who you have lost. But what I can tell you is that thousands from around the world attend his Zoom meetings each month, and he helps participants receive heartfelt messages from beyond the grave. The star of the e-reality TV series, Meet the Frasers, psychic medium Matt Frazier. You've grown up on me and gotten all popular, got your own show. I mean, you're a big deal these days. <laughs> well, you know, I don't feel like a big deal yet because they still charge me $2 for an iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. So until that changes, I don't feel like a big deal. Matt, how's the pandemic changed the way that you've had to do things? Well, you know, what's so interesting is that I miss being out on tour. I miss being out on the road. You know, every week I was out there meeting people, connecting people with their loved ones, helping people, you know, see past the grief. So now I've taken it and I've done it online. And it's so funny, Megan, because, excuse me, it's so funny, Lauren, because when this first started happening, I had no idea, like, if this was even going to work. My well, team was like, Matt, we got to try this. We got to try it online. And I'm like, will it work online? And, and that's then what I said, you know, Matt. My producer, Megan, who you just mentioned, I was like, Megan, is Matt still doing this? And can he do it online? How's it going? It's been going amazing. You know, what's so amazing is that when I see someone on the screen, I also see their loved ones in spirit. And what's so incredible is that the moment that people start to appear on my screen, because I'm able to see them live, like yes. in an audience, yep. I'm also able to see their loved ones in spirit standing behind them. So, so far, believe it or not, I've already been able to do 250 readings and reconnect 250 people with their loved ones on the other side. And these are people I would have never been able to meet before if it wasn't through Zoom Technology. and being online and yeah, and during this pandemic. Oh, I love it. Now your show on E! Meet the Frasers, it premiered in January. What are you learning about yourself in this relationship that you're in with the lovely Alexa? She's so beautiful too. Alexis? She is, yes. You know, she actually just started her clothing line as well. So I've been watching her, you know, work away through the pandemic because you know, we're kind of bored, Lauren. There's not a lot going on here. I know. So we're talking, we're talking to ourselves. We're talking to dead people. You know, we're spending a lot of quality time here in, here in the house. But, know. you know, we're also focusing on still staying updated with our, uh, our fans and followers from, you know, across the globe. Yeah, near and far. Listen, last time I saw you in person, you did a reading for me about my grandmother. Now, we have a little clip from that encounter. So let's play that real quick. She says to me that one of the things that she wants you to know is about the way that she watches over you every single day. And she used to love to sing here in the physical world because when I'm connecting with her, she's singing to me on the other side when I'm connecting. That's and she so talks to me about her fondest memories of you being just a little girl when I'm, when I'm speaking and spending time with her and being in the house with her because she's acknowledging that. Okay, Matt, I told you that day, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. You're like, don't be scared. So I have to update you. I went and printed her picture out and she now sits on one of my console tables in the house and we talk because I don't want her to feel ignored. So Grandma Lois has a place in the house now um, and, and we talk all the time, thanks to you. Oh, I love that. You know, that's what I'm hoping these messages do. You know, what I want to teach people is that your loved ones are there. They're with you every single day, even when you don't feel them they're behind the scenes in the background of your life. It's all about just trusting, trusting that they're there, trusting that their presence is with you and also starting your own conversations, you know, with them because those you love never leave you. I know, when you told me that, I was like, all right, me and Granny Lois have to have some conversations. Now tell me this, are you getting anyone else coming through or are you getting her again? Anything that I need to know this time around? Yes. So it's amazing uh -oh. how sometimes, <laughs> what do you mean, uh-oh? Uh -oh. <laughs> you already know what to expect. I know. I always get nervous. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Sometimes different souls take, take different roles in your life watching over you. And right yeah. now you have your aunt that's here. Your aunt is stepping forward on the other side and she's watching over you when oh. I'm connecting with her. Okay. Because she's telling me when I'm speaking to her that her passing was unexpected here in the physical world and that we were not expecting for her to die at the time that she did. Is that correct? It's absolutely correct. 
And she says to me that she first of all wants to apologize for the way that you found her and for the way that your family was told about her passing. Mm. And I gotta tell you, I love this woman because when I'm connecting with her, she's so high energy on the other side. And she was beautiful here in oh this gosh. world. Because yes. when I'm connecting with her, she's got all the makeup on and she's all dressed up <laughs> and she used to love like martinis here in this world. What was the obsession with like drinking the martinis? Oh my gosh. So Aunt Wanda was definitely high energy, very unexpected death. So you got the right person. I know it has to be her. Um, yeah, she, she was everything that you just said. She loved, she was the life of the party. She was like, you know, she kept our family going. But she tells me that when she passed, she lost consciousness because she keeps telling me, my head, my head. Do you understand that? Yes, yeah, she fell in her kitchen and hit her head on the edge of the cabinet. So know that that's her way of just acknowledging from the other side that she does not want you to think for one moment, okay, that there was anything that you could have done to save her because she's telling me, please let my family know. She says that how I want to be remembered is how I loved and enjoyed life, wow. how high energy I was. She says, but even if, even if, somebody were to get there and revive her or save her, she tells me she would have never been the same person. She wouldn't have been able to walk, talk, or speak. She says, and that's not the way that I wanted to live life. She says, I want you to think of me in heaven, you know, being up with my family. She goes, because they're all here. And she's pointing behind her and she's got all the family with them because she came from a big family. There was like, I want to say there was like 12 of them. Yeah, very big family. Because she showed me like all these people that are on the other side with her. And she's saying to me, she goes, I want, I want Lauren to know. She says that I'm fine, that I am at peace. She says, and more importantly, thank you all for the way that you remember me. Oh There's one God. other thing. You're going to think I'm absolutely crazy, but she tells me that like um, after her passing that your family was remembering her with clothing. So I don't know if you took her outfits or they were wearing certain outfits to remember her. Mm. Does that make sense to you? No, I mean, I remember going to her house and helping my mom clean the closet, but I don't remember wearing anything. She's showing me outfits that were, I, I feel like that this was at her funeral. Find out from your mom okay. if everyone wore certain, like I, here's what I feel. I feel like people were wearing certain things that she used to wear here in this world oh, in memory oh, of her. I wore a pair of her earrings to the funeral. <laughs> oh my God, there you go. And she, cause she's saying to me like everybody wore, like somebody wore like a, a blazer or a blazer top like that she would have wore. And then she showed me everybody wearing different pieces of her to when you laid her to rest. Wow. So when you put those earrings on, when she went and, and you wore that to her funeral, no, it's her way of letting you know that she saw that. Because here's something that, that people don't know is your loved ones actually attend their services with you. I've always heard that and I never knew if it was true. Matt Frazier, you have me in tears. I have pulled out the box of Kleenex here um, and I never will forget when you sent me your book and you signed the inside and I was like, Matt didn't forget. It says, Lauren, always know that your grandmother is by your side. Now you've blown my mind with Aunt Wanda. I've been praying to find out that she's okay since uh, 2017. Thank you, Matt. Well, when I see you, I'm gonna have to update that book. All right, let's do it. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right, quick break, we'll be right back.